In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the best autofocus setup on the Canon EOS R5 for wildlife photography. The R5 is known to be a camera that has a stellar autofocus system, and when you utilize that properly, um, you can really, really get some great results out of it. So what we're going to be talking about doing today is taking three different autofocus modes and applying each of those modes to a different button on our camera that will allow us to basically just move our thumb around and switch between buttons to switch between entirely different focus modes and um, you know have enough focus modes just at the touch of a thumb to cover any scenario in wildlife photography that you could need. Now the three modes that we're going to be talking about are number one Animal Eye AF. Um, this is a revolutionary new mode that was introduced with the Canon R5 and uh, has been very very popular and uh, is very very useful and definitely the mode that I use most on the R5. So Animal Eye AF will be the first one. The next one is going to be Spot Autofocus. This is the traditional you know one little focus point that you move around the screen put it wherever you want to, to focus on that spot and then the third one is going to be zone af which is when the camera is using only a select zone of af points that it will focus with so those are the three modes and uh, there are different you know situations in which each one of these modes might be useful for example, for uh, animal eye AF, uh, you're gonna be using this when the animal is in motion and you can see its eye. Basically, all you do is press the button to focus and it's immediately gonna track that animal's eye or if it can't find the eye, then it'll track its head um, and you can shoot and it's gonna maintain focus on that while the animal is moving. Um, like I said, best method by far, um, but it doesn't always work. Um, specifically, when there's one animal in the frame is when it's gonna work best. When you get beyond that, it gets a little bit more difficult. And that's when you may wanna use some of these other modes. So um, the next one will be spot AF. This is really best for stationary subjects. Um, if you just, you know, maybe have an animal standing on a rock, you put that one focus point on it and you focus um, while it's stationary there and are sure that you have it focused exactly where you want because you've put this one single point right where you want it. Um, or it could be, you know, to pick out an animal in uh, a mess of bushes or behind grasses. Um, a lot of times if you're using like animal IAF or zone AF, it's your camera's gonna search a lot, but if you can put that spot right on the animal and then focus, spot AF is gonna work best because it's gonna focus right on that spot and focus through all that mess of grass or other animals or bushes or whatever it may be that you're trying to focus through. And then the third method will be zone AF. And this will be really good for birds in flight photography when uh, animal IAF is found you because you know as good as IAF is sometimes it does struggle it definitely does um, especially depending on the lighting situation it can really have a hard time so if you're shooting birds in flight um, or you know a fast-moving animal running and IAF isn't working for you then you can switch over to zone and use that and it's probably gonna work um, a lot better so uh, those are the three modes that we're gonna be using now if you don't already know what back button autofocus is essentially it is taking the focus function off of the shutter release button and instead putting it on a button on the back of your camera now on the Canon R5 you really have three buttons that are good for programming to do back button autofocus you have the AF on button you have the asterisk or star button, and then you have the AF point selection button. As you can see, these three buttons are right in the line next to each other, and that is the exact reason why we are using these buttons for our autofocus setup. If we program a different one of the three modes that we talked about to each different button, then we're gonna be able to easily just move our thumb over slightly and switch to a totally different autofocus mode, which is obviously ideal because with wildlife photography, when you have this moving subject and you might have just a fleeting moment to capture that subject, you want to be able to very quickly switch between these autofocus modes and not, you know, being going back and forth in between your menus and looking into your viewfinder and, you know, trying to switch between zone and spot and animal IAF in the menu and then exit the menu and then take shots. You're just wasting time and missing shots when you do that. So being able to switch between focus modes without having to take your eye away from the viewfinder and by literally just moving your thumb from side to side is going to be very beneficial for wildlife photographers and is really going to decrease the amount of shots that you're missing and increase the amount of shots that you're getting in focus. So now we've talked about the three focus modes we're going to be using. We've talked about the three buttons that we're going to be programming with those focus modes. We've talked about what those focus modes are used for. Now let's actually go into the camera and program these three modes to those three buttons. So what I'm going to do now guys is uh, shut the camera off and we're going to go out into the field and I'm going to show you how to do this out there. I do just want to briefly mention guys that my website is now up and running. I've got a 2022 calendar up for sale over there. You can purchase those on the website. So link down below. If you're interested, thanks for the support, guys. Let's get back to the video. So, guys, I'm out here in the field now, and um, as you can see, we've got some nice fall colors out here in Kentucky. Um, they are starting to fade, but 
still got some out there right now but to start out here um, getting straight into the menus um, i'm going to show you guys how you set this up on your canon r5 so the first thing that we're going to do is go over to the af menu here and uh, for af operation we're going to want to have servo af selected obviously for one shot that's just you know taking one photo this is servo af is going to be a continuous autofocus um, so you're going to want that selected and then uh, you're going to want um, to go on down to subject to detect we're going to come back to af method here in a minute but let's go to subject to detect and uh, we're going to select animals obviously because we're focusing on wildlife here and then next we're going to go on down to eye detection here and we're obviously going to want to have that enabled because what we're setting up here is animal eye autofocus so if you don't have eye detection enabled then obviously it can't do eye autofocus um, so that's the settings that you're initially going to want, but then jumping right back up to AF method here um, for setting up our second button to have that spot AF that I talked about. We're going to want to go back up here to AF method and we're going to set it to spot AF. And I'll get into how you're going to customize these buttons next, but um, basically now what you have set up is your AF method is spot AF. You're subject to detect as animals and uh, you're going to allow animal eye AF to, uh, you know, work on this camera. Um, so... That's your first thing that you're going to want to set up. Um, next, what you're going to do is you're going to move on over here and you're going to move over to the orange menu, which is setting up, you know, some of your custom functions in here. And what we're going to want to do here is scroll over to the third menu here where we have the customized buttons right here. Um, this is what you're going to want to select. This is where we're going to do most of our work for uh, setting up this autofocus system. So um, we're going to select that. And the very first thing that you're going to want to do in this menu is make sure that you have actually got the camera set up for back button autofocus. Because none of these buttons that we're going to set up here are going to work if you don't have back button autofocus set up. So we're going to go into this menu first. And uh, when you get the camera out of the box, it's probably going to have it here on metering and AF start. Um, and what you're going to want to do is change it over to just metering start. And basically what this means is that when you press halfway down on the shutter, it's only going to start metering. It's only going to, uh, you know, pop up your uh, light meter there instead of doing both metering and autofocus start. So we're removing autofocus from the shutter release button and only putting metering on the shutter release button. So now, as you can tell, we don't have autofocus on any button. If you haven't set up any of these, then there is no button with autofocus because you just took it off of the one button that, you know, you typically have it on when it comes out of camera. So this is where we're going to set up these back buttons. So what you're going to want to do is scroll on down here to where the AF on button is. Um, obviously it's highlighted in orange there and then you can see it up here. That's that button. And uh, this is the button that we're going to set to animal eye AF. And the reason that I select this button is because it's the one that your thumb um, can, you know, most easily reach right here. And uh, animal eye AF is the method that at least I use most and most of you will probably use most as well on the R5. And all you're going to do is basically what you did for the uh, shutter release thing where you go into this menu and uh, it's going to be by default set on one of these other settings but you're going to move it over and uh, you're going to select IAF here um, you can see that at the top eye detection AF and you're going to set that for this button so now when you press the AF on button it's going to activate animal eye AF pretty simple we have that one set up and uh, for the next one it's pretty simple as well we move right on down and we have the little asterisk button right here as you can see with the symbol there so that's going to be for this button and uh, we're going to select that uh, again. I'm not really sure what the default is for this one, um, but what we're going to set it to is metering and AF start, which um, obviously is what we're going to want because when you press the asterisk button, what we want to begin is autofocus. If I exit out of here really quickly and go back over to this, remember we set the AF method as spot AF. So now by default, the camera is set in spot AF. Um, so then when we go over to our menu, we're customizing buttons and we have this as AF start immediately when you press this button it's going to start spot AF which is exactly what you want obviously and so what's really nice about what we now have set up with these two buttons is that we have our default AF method as spot AF and that's what happens when you press this button and we have animal eye AF set up to this button so instead of having to go into the menu and select animal eye AF um, when we're out in the field shooting now all we have to do is press this button we just have to switch our thumb over from this button to this button instead of going in the menus and going through all that we're now going to set up the autofocus point selection button with zone autofocus and so what we're going to do is pretty similar to what we've done with the past two buttons but it is a little bit different uh, there is a little bit more complex uh, stuff that you have to do to set this one up so what we're going to do is click on this um, and obviously like i said before it's going to be set on one of these i'm not sure which one by default what you're going to want to select is switch to registered af function and um so when you select that, um, obviously what that means is that it's going to, when you press this button, switch to whatever AF function you have registered. But the thing is, we haven't registered an AF function yet. 
So that's where this one gets a little bit more complex. So what you have to do is you have to go down here to the info and detail set button and we're gonna click on that. And then obviously you can see here we have this screen pop up. Uh, we have AF method, tracking sensitivity and uh, acceleration slash deceleration of tracking. Uh, we're not gonna mess with these bottom two today. Um, those are honestly, I've found in the Canon R5 pretty great how they are. Default in this camera is really, really good and works for most wildlife. Um, so I haven't really played with that at all and we're not gonna mess with that in today's video. Um, you know, if you're interested in that, depending on your style of shooting and depending on, you know, what subjects you like to shoot, that may be something that you want to play with. Um, but for the sake of this video, that's not going to be anything that we are uh, messing with. Um, but what we are going to focus on in here is the AF method. So what we're going to do is we're going to first check this box. And um, for me, it's already checked because I've already, you know, set the camera up with this system. Um, but for you, it'll probably be a blank box. And then you'll just, you know, hit the set button to uh, hit the check mark on there. And what that's going to do is register whichever AF function or method that you have selected. Um, to this button here and that's what it means by switch to registered AF function it means that when you press this button it's going to switch to whichever AF function you have selected here um, and so what we're then going to do is we're going to scroll over to AF method and we're actually going to select the one that we want and so for us we're going to use zone AF um, so we're going to click on that and uh, now we have zone AF set as our AF method. And uh, because we have that box checked, when we press this button, it is going to switch to zone AF as our registered function. And we're gonna be able to use zone AF when we press on this button. So now we have these three buttons set up to power basically every autofocus method that we will need for wildlife photography, which is really, really awesome. But before I close this section of the video out, I do just wanna talk about a few more things here um, that I really wanna note on. Um, the first of those being that when we have the um, autofocus point uh, selection button here set up with zone AF. Zone AF is not going to immediately activate when you press this button. What you're actually going to have to do is press both this button and the asterisk button for zone AF to work. So it's a little bit complicated in that way. Um, that's just the way that it's kind of restricted because of the way that we have the camera set up. If I go back into our menu here and into customize buttons, you remember that we have the asterisk button set to metering and AF start. And um, so obviously when we press this, it's gonna start autofocus. One thing that we didn't have set up on the uh, autofocus point selection button is AF start because we can't set that up on here. All we can set up is that it switches to the AF function, but it doesn't actually start the autofocus. So to be able to start the autofocus, we first have to press this to switch to the registered autofocus function, which is zone AF. And then at the same time, we have to press this to trigger the autofocus and actually, you know, set zone AF in action. Um, so it is a little bit more limited in that way. You have to press both buttons, um, but that's really the only way that you could set it up. You couldn't set it up to where, you know, you have just pressing this, it immediately starts zone AF and triggers autofocus at the same time. So that is one restriction I wanted to mention and just remind you of. It really isn't that much extra effort. You know, you just have to press this and then kind of slide your thumb over and press both. It doesn't really affect it that much. You're still going to be able to use all three AF methods very easily and efficiently, um, you know, with this autofocus setup. Um, and then the second thing that I really wanted to mention here and uh, note on was that Another thing that you're going to want to set up is your ability to move your autofocus point around your screen using this joystick. Um, because for some reason, I'm not sure why, but these cameras come out of the box um, with the joystick set to disabled. It does nothing. So you have to actually go into the menu and uh, set up the joystick to, uh, you know, move your autofocus point around. And so what you're going to do is go to the bottom of your menu here where we set up all the other functions. Um, you're going to have the joystick down here. You're going to click on that and you're going to set direct AF point selection. So I think with that, we now have the Canon EOS R5 set up with the best range of autofocus functions for wildlife photography all right at the touch of your thumb, which is pretty darn awesome and pre a pretty darn powerful thing that this camera can do. So there you have it guys. There are the three modes programmed to the three buttons on the camera. And um, now you're basically set up for wildlife photography, at least as far as autofocus goes on the Canon R5. That's pretty much the video. Um, just wanted to show you guys how to set this up, show you the setup that I use um, as far as autofocus goes for wildlife photography on the R5. Um, like I said, this setup is really, really great and can be applied to basically any situation in wildlife photography you know being able to program your camera like this with these certain modes has really just opened up all a whole new world of possibilities for wildlife photography so i'm very pleased with this on my r5 and i definitely recommend that if you do have the canon r5 or the r6 um, or the r3 now we have the r3 coming out um you know program those buttons with this setup um, if you're shooting wildlife and i think you'll be very pleased with the results you're getting and with your ability to quickly switch between focus modes and utilize a variety of different modes
downloads. So um, that's going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you guys have found this helpful and have enjoyed this video. Um, if you haven't already, please do not forget to drop a like down below and comment. Let me know what you guys thought. And uh, most importantly, as always, subscribe to be entered for the 1,000 subscriber Manatee Swim giveaway video. And check out my website, which will be linked down below. And um, with that, guys, that'll be it for this video. And I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you.